Bleeding in the early stages of pregnancy is a significant source of stress for couples with a history of recurrent miscarriages. Each instance of bleeding raises the question, am I experiencing another miscarriage? Today, we will delve into the challenges of recurrent miscarriage, emphasizing that proper treatment often prevents further bleeding. Early bleeding does not always indicate an imminent miscarriage. In the face of early bleeding, suspicions should be raised about another potential cause, ectopic pregnancy. The symptoms of ectopic pregnancy and threatened miscarriage in the early stages often manifest as vaginal bleeding. However, crucial differences exist between the two conditions, necessitating careful discrimination. Firstly, monitoring HCG levels provides an initial indication. In ectopic pregnancies, HCG levels typically continue to rise, whereas in threatened miscarriages, HCG levels may decline. Secondly, ultrasound examinations reveal distinctions. Patients experiencing a threatened miscarriage typically show signs of embryos, gestational sacs, embryonic buds, and fetal heartbeats in the uterus. In contrast, ectopic pregnancy patients exhibit only thickening of the uterine lining with no embryonic images. Although some may question the visibility of ectopic embryos externally, in 90% of cases, they are too small to be observed. Therefore, the absence of an embryo in the uterus heightens suspicion of an ectopic pregnancy. The third distinguishing factor is the presence of accompanying bleeding and abdominal pain in some ectopic pregnancies. In contrast, threatened miscarriages generally do not cause abdominal pain. As the pregnancy has already been terminated, timing is also a crucial factor. Bleeding occurring around 30 days, within the 30 to 40 day range, is likely associated with a threatened miscarriage. Beyond 40 days, ectopic pregnancy becomes a more probable cause. However, diagnostic distinctions cannot rely solely on individual points, but require a comprehensive approach. Premature ultrasound examinations, especially before 35 days, may result in misdiagnosis, as embryos might not be visible even in the uterus. Therefore, accurate diagnosis requires an experienced physician's careful consideration. Early pregnancy bleeding demands attention and patients should actively seek causes and take appropriate measures. Whether aiming to preserve the pregnancy or considering transplanting an ectopic embryo into the uterus, strict adherence to timing is critical. Beijing Anti Hospital implements a signed treatment plan for threatened and recurrent miscarriages, ensuring a refund if the desired results are not achieved. For ectopic pregnancies, the hospital performs ectopic intrauterine transfer surgery under suitable conditions and employs fallopian tube windowing procedures when necessary, preserving the tubes and addressing underlying causes through minimally invasive surgery. In conclusion, early pregnancy bleeding necessitates joint efforts from patients and medical professionals. Accurate diagnosis and treatment are crucial to ensuring a smooth and healthy pregnancy. It is our hope that every couple dealing with recurrent miscarriages can achieve a safe and healthy pregnancy through appropriate treatments.